We welcome to the show Richie Spice. How's it going, Richie? Yeah, we are here. We are here right now, giving thanks for life, for thanks for strength, every living thing that more than creep it up on the face of the earth that them praise the king, you know. Give thanks for being here. Give thanks for another time around, you know. So, tonight, how much are you looking forward to it? Well, we're looking for a, a, a great show tonight, you know. Um, you know, we are here with the band and we are here in, with full energy, you know, and a lot of material to give to the people later, you know. Yeah, what's your set going to be like then? Well, my set always be, um, you know, a variety of music, you know. So, so I heard you're going to be bringing out a new album in December. What can you tell us about it? Well, the new album is entitled the album. Um, it carries 14 tracks, you know, um, representing and, and, and um, dealing with different um, issues, different topics. You know, it's a great album, which means um, a lot of production go out in this album, you know. I mean, a lot of experienced people played on this album, work on this album. You know, looking forward to for this album to be a great album. Is that all original material? Or you got some covers as well? No, well, it's original. You know, it's mostly original. Yeah. Yeah. And how long is that taking you to put together? It take me a while. You know, it take me a while, a couple of years. You know, to work on it and you know choose the right songs. You know, um, get it together the right way, artwork and all of these things. You know. Yeah, it takes a long time, doesn't it? I yeah, it takes a good time. Think, oh, you can just bring out an album. No, it's not it like that. It takes a while. Yeah, it takes a while. <laughs> to bring out a good album with substance, you know, like this album, you know. So have you been touring this year? Yeah, we've been on the road from um, from August, the 4th of August. You know, I mean, Europe, here in London also, you know. You know, quite a couple, couple of uh, different um, gigs, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So is, is that the way you like it then? Well, I like it always, you know, I mean, I like to record, you know, I like to um, record, I like to write, I like to record, you know, I like to come out and play the music, represent to the people, you know, the people see the person behind the song who they have been listening over all the time, you know, yeah, looking forward for a massive turnout, you know, and we know we're going to have a good time later. You know, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be great. So, how about you? How did you first get into music yourself? Well, it started from a, a, a tender age. I mean, listening and watching other people. You know, I mean, my brother, brother families and siblings in music also. You know, and you know, so you have a musical family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we learn from each other also. You know, and we listen to other artists also. You know, and it becomes a part of us, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So who are some of your favourite reggae artists? Oh my, you have artists like, um, you know, going into the, into the, like, the era of the elders, you know, you know, we, the people that grow up on music is like, um, Burning Spear, you know, the Burst for Daman, the Bob Marley, Coco T, you know, um, Gregory Isaac, all of those great people, you know? So many. Yeah, yeah. grows up on music. For now, younger youth, them now watching now, what we're listening to now, listening to the Chronics, you know, listen to the um, Protégé, you know, the Jesse Royal, the um, Dre Island, you know, good artists, you know, coming out also. There is kind of, I think there is kind of a reggae revival, really. I yeah. mean, it's always been there, reggae, but I mean, it seems to be uh, very yeah. big at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a it's a revival. It's a good vibe. It's a it's a um, it's a it's a it's a good vibration. Ren, which mean um, well, a lot of you come up in the fraternity and they, and we like the, the footsteps that they, they that they um that they really take. You know, like the tradition music that them take on and you know spreading out there the same message that the elders have set before and thing. You know, we we really appreciate that. You know, that them really follow the footsteps of the elders, you know, and doing the same, carrying on the same work, see, I'm preaching the same message, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And so, so with, when you do gigs, what's the one song that um, they go crazy for more than any other? Well, you have different, different strokes are different folks. Yeah. You know, you have song like, 
various, you know, it's kind of various. Mm. I mean, people go crazy for different, people love different songs. Mm. You know, girls go crazy for um, brown skin or get a girl. Yeah. You know, I mean, people go crazy for youth so cold, you know, hurt her on the red, same way. I mean, different, different songs, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So how did that song come about, Brown Skin? Because that was probably the first time I, I heard your voice, really, in yeah. that song. Yeah. Well, it come on, 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 on a natural vibration because you know, I said I want, want, uh, like to write a song about um, brown skin. I don't know why, but it's always in the back of my mind, you know, and I never did it, you know. But, but, it, but the title was in the back of my mind all the time, and until um, one day I got this rhythm from this brother, bridge, bridging call, um, Dan Carleon. Yeah, and um, that's the song that's come, you know. Yeah. I didn't have to force it, I didn't push anything. It's just very know. natural. It yeah, just it came. does come natural, you know. And when you're writing your music, is that the way it usually happens? Or just or sometimes do you have to lock yourself in a room and well, crack on with it? Yeah, well, sometimes it, it happens vice versa, you know. Sometimes it, it does happen natural. You know, another time you can be driving and, you know, that inspiration does come to you. You know, you can... You know, you write at, when I'm writing most time I normally write amongst people, other people, you know, because you know, I mean, as them say, you know, two head better than one. You know, sometimes you might say something and somebody say, No, don't say that, don't say it that way and you know, you put it in and, and it work, you know, because the music is for the people, you know, so normally I I normally love to write amongst other people also, you know, we're in which mean So you bounce know. ideas off of each other. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it go out there now, it's not just my idea alone, I mean, other ideas of other people thinking you know, also, you know. I suppose it's good to take everything on board as well, isn't it? Yeah. And we, with the album right now, is, is one of our main focus right now, we are in which, you know, we know that we're going to go out there and do a great, a great work for itself, you know. Yeah. Because the, the groundwork has put in already and it's just for it now to go out there now and do it, it, it do its work for itself, you know, because you know the music itself um clear way and pave way for itself, you know. But where did you record it? We recorded that album in um Jump Back in Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. That must be um that must be a lot better, is it? Well, I mean I mean, uh to say better but um that's where reggae music is from and you know, um we have some good producers on the album also you know, who, who have, a, who have a, a great idea about music, you know, and, you know, people like Clive Hunt and it, and, as, you know, producer, you know, we have, um, you know, Stephen Stanley, you know, a great producer, you know, from back in the days also, you know, play a part in there, you know, we have people, um, all right, the, 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 some of the, the tracks that, like, I quite probably like, are two or three of the, of the tracks that play, and the album, you know, the, the musician was the band that I have on the road right now, you know, my personal musician, hmm. you know, so kind of deep, you know. Well, we're looking forward to the new album that obviously is going to be out in December. With the singles that you're going to be sending me, can you tell us about them? Well, all right, the single now, we have a single rotating right now, which is getting crazy love. It's called, um, it's called, there's more than one. You know, but you know, the one that we, we did the video back in Jamaica for right now, called Great Years Away. You know, um, it's in a lot of love. You know, why? Because, you know, the words in the song, you know, people gravitated to the words because, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's very uplifting, you know, and it's something where in which mean people got every bad one got being through that, or got through that day to day, and had them day to day life of fear. You know, so I mean, it's getting a lot of love. Mm. Yeah, there's a will. Um, now leave me. You know, getting a lot of crazy love also. You know, and, and good vibe. Yeah. Good vibe. Keep the good vibes coming. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Us. Yes, man. Respect.